Jackson was born in Birmingham, Alabama, to Ruth and Hogan Jackson, a business executive. She attended the Brook Hill School for Girls in Mountain Brook before continuing her education at the University of Mississippi, where she pursued a major in history. During her time there, she joined the Delta Rho chapter of the Kappa Kappa Gamma sorority. However, halfway through her sophomore year, she transferred to Birmingham Southern College, focusing on speech and the history of theater. Following the academic year, Jackson became an apprentice at the Stowe Playhouse in Stowe, Vermont, before relocating to New York City to study acting at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Initially, Jackson worked as an NBC page and tour guide at Rockefeller Center before landing a role as the enigmatic, silent ghost Daphne Harridge on the supernatural daytime soap opera Dark Shadows in the 1960s. In 1971, she starred as Tracy Collins in Night of Dark Shadows, the second feature film based on the daytime serial. While the film deviated more from the series than its predecessor, it did not perform as well at the box office. During the same year, she made appearances in two episodes of the short-lived sitcom The Jimmy Stewart Show. She subsequently portrayed nurse Jill Danko for four seasons on the 1970s crime drama The Rookies. Alongside her acting work, Jackson dedicated her free time to studying directing and editing. She also took on roles in several TV films during this period. Notably, Jackson received acclaim for her performance in the 1972 independent film Limbo, one of the earliest theatrical productions to tackle the Vietnam War and the experiences of soldiers' wives. Additionally, she appeared in Death Scream, a 1975 television dramatization recounting the circumstances surrounding the 1964 murder of Kitty Genovese. In 1975, Jackson had a pivotal meeting with Rookies producers Aaron Spelling and Leonard Goldberg to discuss her next project following the show's cancellation. Goldberg informed her about a series titled The Alley Cats, which had been turned down by every network. Spelling asked for her input on renaming the series, and when Jackson saw a picture of three female angels on the wall behind him, she suggested the name Charlie's Angels. Originally slated for the role of Kelly Garrett, ultimately played by her co-star Jacqueline Smith, Jackson opted for the character of Sabrina Duncan. The immense success of the show led to Jackson, Smith, and Farrah Fawcett Majors bracing the cover of Time magazine. Charlie's Angels premiered as a television film on March 21, 1976, before its series debut on September 22, 1976. Jackson's prominence on the show, coupled with her experience on The Rookies, ensured that her original role of Kelly Garrett received significant attention in the pilot film. In February 1979, Jackson hosted the 13th episode of season 4 of Saturday Night Live, where she reflected on her past as an NBC page, leading studio tours a decade earlier. At the outset of Charlie's Angels' third season, Jackson was offered the role originally played by Meryl Streep in the feature film Kramer vs. Kramer, 1979. However, due to scheduling conflicts, she had to decline the opportunity as the show's shooting schedule could not accommodate her participation in the film. Jackson bid farewell to the show at the end of its third season, stating, I served it well and it served me well, now it's time to go. She was succeeded by Shelley Hack. Following her departure from Charlie's Angels, Jackson starred alongside Harry Hamlin and her rookies co-star Michael Ontkeen in the feature film Making Love. 1982, directed by Arthur Hiller. Despite being ahead of its time in addressing homosexuality sensitively, the film received lukewarm reviews and performed poorly at the box office. In 1983, Jackson took on the lead role in Scarecrow and Mrs. King, a one-hour action drama where she portrayed housewife Amanda King opposite Bruce Boxleitner's spy character, codenamed Scarecrow. She also co-produced the series with Warner Brothers Television through her production company, Shoot the Moon Enterprises. During this period, Jackson developed an interest in directing. Scarecrow and Mrs. King aired for four seasons from 1983 to 1987. In January 1987, during the fourth season's filming, Jackson underwent her first mammogram, revealing a small malignant tumor. She underwent a lumpectomy under an alias, returning to work on the series a week later, supported by painkillers through five weeks of radiation treatment. 
After her experience with breast cancer, Jackson starred in Baby Boom, a 1988 TV sitcom adaptation of a 1987 film, which was cancelled before airing all episodes. In 1989, she appeared in the film Loverboy, directed by Joan Micklin Silver. In September 1989, another mammogram detected residual breast cancer overlooked in the previous operation. Jackson underwent a partial mastectomy and reconstructive surgery. Her Charlie's Angels colleague Jacqueline Smith publicly expressed support for Jackson during this challenging time. In 1995, Jackson was diagnosed with an atrial septal defect, a congenital heart condition that had gone unnoticed. She underwent open heart surgery to correct the defect. Jackson became an advocate for breast cancer awareness and heart health, receiving the Power of Love Award from the American Heart Association in 2003 for her efforts in raising public awareness about these issues. In 2004, the television film Behind the Camera, the unauthorized story of Charlie's Angels aired, with Lauren Stammel portraying Jackson. In August 2006, Jackson, Farrah Fawcett, and Jacqueline Smith made a surprise appearance together at the 58th Primetime Emmy Awards to pay tribute to the late Angels creator Aaron Spelling. In 2007, Jackson portrayed the mother of FBI agent Emily Prentice on the television series Criminal Minds, marking her final acting role to date. In August 2008, she served as a guest judge on an episode of Jacqueline Smith's Bravo reality series Sheer Genius, overseeing a hairdressing competition aimed at updating the signature hairdos of the original trio. On August 3, 2010, Gallery Books announced that they had signed a contract with Jackson to publish her memoirs. Initially expected to be released in 2011, the book has faced numerous delays, with the latest update indicating a scheduled release date just two days before 2021. Since 2009, Jackson has not made any appearances in film or television. In the mid-1970s, Jackson was engaged to actor Edward Albert. Following this, she was romantically linked to producer Robert Evans, stuntman Gary Quist, and actors Dirk Benedict, Nick Nolte, and Warren Beatty. In August 1978, after a six-month courtship, Jackson married actor Andrew Stevens, the son of actress Stella Stevens. However, the couple divorced in 1981, with Jackson expressing feelings of financial betrayal post-divorce. Jackson was subsequently linked with actor Gary Pendergast and screenwriter Tom Mankiewicz. She then married New York businessman David Greenwald in 1982, forming Shoot the Moon Productions together but they divorced in 1984. After her divorce from Greenwald, Jackson was frequently seen with dermatologist Arnold Klein. While recovering from her second bout with breast cancer during a vacation in Aspen, Colorado, in 1989, Jackson met Tom Hart, the owner of a Utah ski lodge, and they married in 1991. However, the couple divorced in 1993. Jackson adopted a son in 1995. In May 2010, Jackson sued her financial advisor, Richard B. Francis, alleging his actions caused her financial losses exceeding $3 million. They settled the lawsuit in December 2010. In August 2023, Jackson made a public appearance as a guest at a wedding hosted by Jacqueline Smith for Smith's son Gaston in Los Angeles, marking her return to the public eye 